Hey everyone, it's Leviathan here again. This here is my intro video to explain to you guys what I normally talk about for my videos that I make from this point on to help you guys out. My Leviathan universe is very prodigious. I have 15,000 plus characters and creatures that are accounted for as compared to the infinite number in this infinite onion of a multiverse. The five main heroes are notably the five most focused characters in my Leviathan universe. There's Madame Shear, founder and owner of Blader Tech Industries. There's Dentrini, who's the biological granddaughter of Satana, founder and ruler of Tartarus. And she herself is also um, the director of the Paranormal Defense. Pym is a Lunarian, which is an alien species that's currently endangered after their home star exploded. Um, Colossa is the, uh, the granddaughter of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmos. Colossa herself has infinite growing capacity, can shoot nuclear beams from her hands, can break the fourth wall and other powers. And Kyjericus is Queen of the Mutants who's basically a woman who was mutated into a giant reptilian kaiju woman, who now protects people from kaiju-based threats. I have all of this elaborate information I could, could tell you and such, because they are all really impressive, and I really recommend that you gotta check these stuff out, because it, it will blow you away, and you know who Stanley is? Stan Lee, the guy who created Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Avengers, and all that stuff. I am planning to be as blessed as he was. And I really hope that this is the right reality. And if you guys want, I really hope that I could be able to succeed with my creations. Yeah, so basically it's really impressive stuff, and I made all of them, and I have to make it up to them. You know, because I made them exist, and I have to make it worth it for them. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys have a decent understanding. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Ellie. Real name, Eleanor Nukes. Height and weight, utterly increasing. Status, villain turned hero. Goddess of the infinite. Base, Ascolympius space, recent. Intelligence, free brains. Behavior, flirtatious and willful. She'll do anything to get respect. Lethality, extremely dangerous to most opponents. Weaknesses, her greatest power is also her greatest weakness. Powers, she grows to immeasurable sizes and can outgrow the Anniverse. The bigger she gets, the more powerful she becomes. And she's more powerful than all the Alpha Gods combined. She also has uncanny reasoning skills, along with being unable to age. Eyes, greenish blue, hair, deep orange, and luscious. Origin. Eleanor Nukes was an everyday teen who wants respect from everyone. One morning, she was confronted by a head hologram of Cosmic, who is the master of the universal dimensions, who granted her with an uncontrollable increase in size, along with vast cosmic powers that grow with her. Ellie then made a near-apocalyptic rampage in the Alpha Earth that almost nobody could stop. Soon, Ellie realized that Cosmic betrayed her, and she just about outgrew the cosmos if not for Goddess, the creator of the cosmos and founder and leader of the Alpha Gods, to transport her to her new bedroom in Ascolympius. When she awoke, Ellie begged to Goddess for forgiveness, and she finally did so. Since then, Ellie was marked as a new member of the Alpha Gods, as well as having herself forever marked as the Goddess of the Infinite. Costume. She simply wears nothing official, just whatever she feels like wearing. Teams. She works with the Alpha Gods. Original inspiration. All things infinite. Here's the next character. Zoe. Real name, Zoe Adams. Height and weight, utterly increasing. Status, hero, and goddess of cats and the infinite. Base, as Galympia's space, recent. 
intelligence, two and a half brains, behavior, witty and loving. She has a notable feline personality, lethality, only in terms of her size. Weaknesses. Her greatest power is also her greatest weakness. Powers. She has the uncontrollable ability to expand larger than anything, including the Anniverse. She also has acute senses and a long swatting tail. She recently wears a watch-like device that transports her back to her playroom whenever she's done with an objective. Eyes sky blue, hair auburn in a pixie cut. Origin. Zoe Adams was a cat-loving woman who also wished to see the universe. One morning she awoke and saw a head hologram of Cosmic, who used her powers to make it come true. She gave Zoe cat ears, a long cat tail, and the ability to expand into a vast size. She then found that she's unable to control it, until she outgrew the solar system and was transported by Goddess to her new playroom in Ascalympius, along with Ascalympius being the only place where she's unable to expand. She was then told by Goddess that due to her powers being permanent, she would spend her time in her playroom, only coming out with a special wristwatch to take her back to her new home after doing some work. Since then, Zoe would always be willing to help the Alpha Gods with numerous different objectives. Costume. She wears a pink latex leotard that expands with her. Teams. She recently works with the Alpha Gods, original inspiration, cats, and all things infinite. Here's the last character. Just so you know. Scarlet. Real name, Scarlet Kitten. Height and weight, utterly increasing. Status, villain, and ally of Cosmic. Base, Cosmic Slayer. Intelligence, three brains to four and a half brains. Behavior, seductive and careless. She enjoys feeling her power. Lethality. There's no limit to how huge or powerful she becomes. Weaknesses. Her greatest power is also her greatest weakness. Powers. She has the uncontrollable ability to expand to limitless heights, even to outgrow the Anniverse. The huger she gets, the more powerful she gets, able to defeat the Alpha Gods and Omega Gods at once. She also possesses some uncanny reasoning skills. Eyes lime green, hair deep red and short. Origin. When Scarlet Kidman was born, her mother died of childbirth, leaving her father to raise her on his own. When she graduated high school, her father died of a heart attack, leading to her getting the job of a model. One morning, a head hologram of Cosmic appeared to Scarlet and infused her with similar powers as the ever-expanding Ellie. Eventually, Scarlet rampaged across the default Earth and tried to devour the two Earths until she almost got killed by an arriving Ellie. Before she outgrew the Cosmos, Cosmic took Scarlet to her lair, where she assigned her as a new ally. Since then, Scarlet would do all in her power to destroy the two Earths. Costume. She simply wears nothing official, just whatever she feels like wearing. Team Solitary works for Cosmic and other villains. Original inspiration, all things infinite. Well, those are the three characters, and I apologize if they seem too similar to each other. That's not my intention. I'm just trying to have as much variety as I can, so I hope you guys don't mind. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Hope you guys have a decent rest of the month and such. Until next time, and transmission.